radical political activist. I'm a peace activist, right. and I'm a justice activist. So I'm down at Occupy Chicago. I'm at Occupy Washington. I'm at Occupy Milwaukee. This is who I am. This yeah. is not, you know, some new thing or some mysterious thing, and it's not something I hide. It's been true my whole life. I'm also an academic. I teach and I write. The only thing that's changed, I, I guess I'd say there are two things that have changed. One is that I get an enormous number of death threats. Uh, it's not the first time. I got a lot of death threats after 9-11 also. Mm. But, I mean, I get an enormous amount of death threats every week. And whenever I go to speak, for example, right now I'm driving to Northern Illinois University to give a talk. There's always a group of Tea Party people who pick at me. There's always threats against the university. How does that, make you, how does that make you feel? I mean, I'm, I'm, at this point, maybe you're immune to, to it and kind of used to it, but... It has to make you feel some kind of way inside. I mean, you, you know. No, uh, you know the fact is that in some ways I'm I'm as good, if somebody had to be thrown under the bus or in front of the charging train, I'm a good candidate because all my life I've faced um, certain aspects of you know uh, both both a lot of joy and a lot of love, but also a lot of criticism and pushback. So I've been a part of I've been a political person since I was a teenager. And I'm now in my late 60s, so none of it surprises me. And the fact is, I've never, I, I, I've confronted this many, many years ago, decades ago. I've always felt that when you get death threats and when you get people angry at you, um, there are two things to look at. One is, who's angry? Well, the people who are angry at me are the people who want to keep the status quo just as it is. So I don't feel hurt by that. I feel that makes sense. They're, they're, they're listening to me, they're paying attention, or listening to folks like me, and that's a good thing. But the other thing is, I never take death threats seriously. I don't think the person who writes you a letter and says, I'm coming to Chicago to kidnap you and waterboard you, is serious. I right. think he's just venting. And, and when I go to colleges, as I'm going today to give a talk, I always ask them, please don't give me extra security. I don't want it. Right. You don't have to pay for extra security. I'm not a, I'm not a frightened person, I'm a professor. Get me to the podium, and I'll take care of myself. You right, know? right, so right. I, I, I don't really take it seriously, Mike. I don't, and I think if you take it too seriously, you live your life uh, in a paranoid, fearful crouch, and I refuse to do that. Uh, I feel.